Simple Food Network, where I, Chef Stan Key, will teach you how to make food that is simple. Food that you can make on the fly that requires very little prep time or money. Great recipes for college kids and underprivileged adults. Today is a very exciting day. I'm going to teach you a dish that is so unique, so exciting, so cool, in that it is a appetizer, entree, and dessert all in one serving. Incredible. In, in fact, there's no actual name for the dish. Just like Prince, it's, it's just a symbol. And that's the symbol for the dish. Uh, but for the purposes of today and communication between you and everyone at home, I'm going to call this dish... Condensed Anti-Food. But the proper name for the dish, again, is this symbol right here. Okay, let me just run down the list of ingredients for you. Ready? Quarter cup of milk, half stick of butter, quarter cup of celery, diced. Some olives, green olives as you can see, and with none of the red um, uh, in the middle. Four full-grown summer squashes. One gefilte fish. One teaspoon of fresh ginger, minced. Two tins of cream cheese. <laughs> three, if you can see, there's only three corn kernels. That's very precise and it's very important for the dish. One sixteenth of a full-sized pumpkin. One whole avocado, just as is. One and a half cups of sweet potatoes, peeled and cubed. Nine fifths parsley. A pit of red pepper flakes. Two fifths of a melted pre-cooked upside down hamantaschen. Um, one shoelace and of course a nail file. Grind it in and over here you will see a little bit of bleach. Actually this is laundry detergent Purex. A dash of bleach, just a dash, just a dash. And of course one ordinary household domestic cat. A little salt. A little pepper. Very much. Like every great dish, pry it open like that. this one is and grounded in a can of tomatoes. crushed tomatoes. And if you want, you can jab at them in the can. Bad tomato. Bad. Bad tomatoes. That's just an old time chef joke. And the next and probably right. easiest step of this dish is to cut up your onion. And you gotta be, you need to be professional like I am. So you just gotta be very, very, very careful. Please don't cut this fast, like, at home, because you need to be professional like I am. Ah! Ah! That's what happens when you're not careful. That's what happens, kids. Okay, after a couple of band-aids and lots of peroxide, I can continue on with the program. <laughs> Swine flu? You okay there? You got the plague? All right. You okay? We're okay to continue? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, now the first thing you do is uh, you put everything is in one pot. It's almost like it's going to seem like it's a still sort of come together. And um, it's amazing. Neil is finished. You are going to be shocked because once one bite will fill your belly for an entire week and it'll give you energy. Just to let you know that this dish was actually, I think it was developed by my ancestors who escaped Nazi Germany. Actually, it was from Poland. They escaped Poland and went to a little town in, in Asia and uh, who were accepting Jews as long as they continued to buy Chinese food and keep them financially secure. And that's where they learned about this dish. Of course, they didn't have microwaves back then, and we have them now, so it's gonna take a little bit less time to cook this dish. The oven's preheated, as soon as this is done, turn off the flame, and immediately take it out and put the dish into the oven. One hour. Okay, now that the one hour is up, <clears throat> take it out of the oven, and immediately place it into the microwave oven for 40, Seven minutes. Just a few more seconds left. Ah, okay. Take it out of the microwave and then immediately throw it back in the oven. But this, you only leave it in there for about, I think it's, uh, actually it's 10 minutes. Now that the 10 minutes are up, you're gonna take this and Place the dish. Actually, by this time, I guess all the ingredients should be blended together, including the cat, should be all a little bit more condensed than originally. I'm going to place the entire pot as is in the freezer for three months. Okay, after three months, <coughs> excuse me, what you want to do is take the dish out. You're going to mix it all around. When you're done, and it goes back, back into the microwave oven. Four. 35 more minutes! 35 more minutes! This dish is making me crazy. Okay, now it goes out of the oven. And first thing you do, hold on one second, is you want to add 
ice cubes to the pie. And once that is done, you're gonna put it back into the freezer for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Now, you take it out of the freezer and it goes back into the oven for one month. One and a half weeks. It's now been four weeks in the oven. It's probably very hot. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Ah, I tried to turn the oven off. Ah, it smells great. Okay. This is the moment we've been waiting for been close to, I don't know, six months or so making this dish. Again, if you start it at the right time, you should, um, uh, if you start it today or whatever, anyway, the dish, it should be ready by Thanksgiving or so. Um, this is an excellent dish. So, here we go. This is it. I'm wondering if I overcooked it. But, anyway, it still looks good. Hold on. Now this is technically four servings, believe it or not. I'm kind of hungry. Mm. Mm. This is great. This dish, I, I, I feel so good. Wow, I feel like you do jumping jacks and push-ups. Wow. Very much. That was that dish was called what the dense anti food. So I'm feeling fantastic. You've all got to try this. Uh, and um, good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Good night again. Chef Stanky, Chef Stanky is signing off. I will see you next week. I would like to thank our special crew for coming down and shooting this and shooting all the night shoots. We would also like to thank um, Thai Patriot. We would like to thank Arroz Con Pollo and all kinds of chicken and the farmers who farmed all the chicken as well as some corn. And a quick shout out to all the Cathilka fishers, the, the men and the women fishers who went who braved the ocean to catch many Cathilka fish. And a very special thanks to Willie Nelson and Burke Bacharach for not taking part at all in this video. And most of all, we would love to thank Gary Coleman from Different Strokes for bringing that wonderful catchphrase. What you talking about was...